Today, we're going to take a look at the knowledge author's experience using eGain Knowledge. We will see how easy it is for authors to keep track of and complete their tasks, create and publish new content, and manage feedback. We will also take a look at the interface, the editor and tools that are available to the author that make their day-to-day -day tasks a breeze to perform. Upon logging into the authoring console, the first thing a user sees is a dashboard that shows all kinds of interesting information, such as the documents that the user is currently working on. They also see information such as if there's any content that they need to review, at what stage they're currently at, as well as what other authors are working on in the knowledge base. This dashboard provides a social feed that gives authors a sense of team, and it provides a visual representation of the direction everyone is working towards. This is especially important in today's hybrid work environment. The first stop is the My Work screen, where users can see their next set of tasks. These would include things like articles they're already working on, articles that their manager wants them to look at, articles that have been sent to them as part of the content workflow, and suggestions they need to process. Everything is collected here so that it's a one-stop shop for their tasks. We can see that the author has a couple of articles waiting for them and a couple of suggestions. Let's take a look at one of them. As you can see, a note has been added to make it easy for the team to collaborate in the authoring effort. In this case, the note says the image needs to be updated and to add a video, which will be an easy fix. The article editor is powerful and convenient in its design, making it easy to add rich media and format articles. On the right side is the panel with all the articles, properties, and attributes. What's extremely useful about this panel is that it can adapt to the author's needs by allowing them to toggle the properties on or off. Notes allow users to communicate back and forth so people know what they changed about the article. Having updated the image and added the video, the user can add a note to indicate what's been done. In addition, users can also add tags to the article. Tags help personalize the article and can also be used for filtering in searches. Since there aren't any tags for this article yet, the user adds some. With the article's updates complete, it can begin the process of publication. An approval workflow is in place to ensure articles are reviewed by subject matter experts or other contributors as a part of the content process. The workflows are completely configurable by the organization. In this instance, the user has all access to the stages of the workflow, so the author can skip the steps and publish these changes to make sure they reflect in the end user portal right away. With the article published, it's important to mention how feedback can impact the knowledge base. In the My Work section, note that they have a suggestion to process. This is a suggestion for an existing article. Suggestions make it easy to manage feedback and are associated with the original article. Users can also ask questions to the suggester by adding notes to the article. When it comes to creating a new article, it's as simple as clicking this create button here at the top. You can see that it asks me for the type and template.
The template loads all the structure and formatting for the author, so all they need to do is focus on the content. This makes it easy to manage standardization in how content is authored. Now that we've copied and pasted all of our content in, let's go ahead and add a topic to the article. And before I publish, let's take a look at what this article will look like in the portal to our end users. Everything looks good, so it's time to publish it. Adding this article to the top adds it to the portal that end users see. It's an easy way to control which audience sees what and to personalize the view of the knowledge base to the audience. We'll take a look at the topics in a little while. Now, let's switch over to a knowledge manager role to see the management and publishing aspects of the product. Let's start by taking a look at how things are organized in the knowledge base. Workflows were mentioned earlier when the article was published. Workflows can be set up here. There are already a few article and suggestion feedback workflows established. Setting up workflows is as simple as adding stages and giving people access to process things in that stage. Knowledge managers can also select who and how to notify when things move from one stage to another. Let's take a look at the workflow that was used earlier. Here we can see the relationships for this workflow as well as the stages within it. Users are able to name the different stages, who contributes to each stage, and determine if there are certain users who can skip this stage, as well as which stage they send it back to if they aren't going to approve the content in that stage. And this is how it's determined the notifications that are sent to the users within each stage. In addition, knowledge managers can set up a compliance policy or read and sign. Again, it's simple. All that's needed is to select a user group that has to comply with the policy and the SLA. The policy can then be applied to any article. The system automatically takes care of things like getting people to re-sign the article after any major update. When authoring content, articles are organized into folders. Folders allow you to set permissions, workflows, etc. on the articles. Best practice is to set up folders to match subject matter or teams, depending on how you are organized. Essentially, it controls all aspects of creating and maintaining articles. Topics represent the external taxonomy that end users can use to browse for knowledge. Adding articles to topics is as easy as associating the article with a topic. An article can be associated with any number of topics. To publish to an audience group, simply associate the topics to publish to a portal. Portals are the easiest way to personalize content to an audience. Only content added to that portal can be accessed through it. Each portal has a unique URL. So as far as users are concerned, they just navigate to the URL and start using the knowledge base. Here's an example of that portal from the end user's experience. Small teams, businesses, or organizations can choose to use the same hierarchy for folders and topics. The folder hierarchy is automatically available as topics and can be added to a portal to quickly get started. Creating a virtual assistant or chatbot is now easier than ever with eGain's Botmaster, simplifying the process so that business users can create and configure the bots that they need. Here's an example of the configuration of a bot where we are ultimately determining the department and type of bot that this is. We are showing the portals that are being used and the classifier being used for the spot. We can also determine which text are used for certain situations within the bot. After we configure the bot, we can go ahead and test it with the utterances that we've trained the bot on. 
When we ask our question, we can determine whether or not the bot was able to answer. Here is the utterance that was used and the score of that response. The transcripts for the bot can be reviewed to determine how the responses were and where the information is being pulled from within the knowledge base. In addition, the article and case base used is also displayed here. Finally, eGain Analytics makes it easy to measure, analyze, and refine context center operations knowledge and overall customer experience. Out of the box, eGain Analytics include various historical and real-time reports and dashboards. Users can also use our six-step report builder to easily create real-time and historical reports that include the required reporting levels, metrics, summarization, and styling. No query writing or other technical skills are required, removing the dependency on data analysts and IT. Here's an example of a Knowledge Manager dashboard. It provides an array of data to monitor the health of the knowledge base, including the most used content and search phrases. eGain Analytics provides measure and manage capabilities. From one screen, users can identify issues and begin the process of resolving them. For example, a low-rated article can be inspected to better understand the issue. The article details appear in this sidebar on the right. Any other suggestions waiting in the queue for this article are displayed. Users can then drill through to the authoring console to fix the article or to progress the user's suggestion. Similarly, users can click on a failed search term to confirm in real time that it still does not return any results. A failed search term might be a genuine gap or it might be a findability problem. The content is there, but the metadata is insufficient. To fix this problem, you may want to drill through to the Knowledge Console to add keywords to articles, to find synonyms to aid the search, or create new content to close the gap. With various automation tools available out of the box, a fully functional knowledge base and portal can be rapidly established and deployed. Dashboards and reports help businesses measure and manage their capabilities to better improve their knowledge resources. With the power of the eGain Knowledge Hub and Analytics Hub, it's never been easier to build and improve your knowledge base in record time.